which is that one bridge which will help you transition from a fresher to a industry expert or maybe experienced person experienced professional well the answer to that question is internship internship is a popular way in fact the most acceptable industry's way of accepting freshers into their company because it's not a risk for them and it is not a risk for you as well if you get absorbed as an intern in some company your chances of landing a permanent job increases by 83% and that means if you do good your internship can get converted into a job so you should always pay attention to internship opportunities if you are a fresher now first things first if you are looking for biotech or chemistry or any kind of professional internship the place to go to is rasaynika.com that's a place where all freshers are getting internship nowadays right now i'm going to give you quick 5 to 7 tips which will help you identify your type of internship your type of company and get absorbed there faster right so without wasting much time Let me know in the comment section if you love chemistry. Do you love chemistry? If it is yes, let me know in the comment section. Right? I love chemistry. Right? Now, many of you say that I love chemistry. In fact, I also am big fan of chemistry, especially analytical chemistry. But that's where the question comes. What type of chemistry you are passionate about? Okay. What type of chemistry you like? Is it organic, inorganic, medicinal, pharmaceutical, pharmacological, analytical? What type of chemistry? and what type of work you like do you like standing in a lab or do you like working in formulation and development so you have to identify what type of work you like and which type of chemistry you love now once you have identified your strength now the time has come to tailor make your resume you have to identify what are the skills for that particular chemistry internship which the recruiters are looking at and then mention those industry relevant skill set such as relevant instruments you have worked on softwares you have learned for example chemdraw hplc gc lcms spectroscopy tools so all of that you have to mention in your cv so for first step was identifying your passion identifying what exactly you like and the second step was mentioning that in your cv now the third step will be building a skill focused cv now it's not that we just we can just go ahead and write anything in our cv we should only write whatever we have done so we have to highlight the lab techniques and before that we should do those lab techniques now most colleges don't have that don't worry the sainika has online and offline training programs to help you learn these lab techniques now you can also do research projects at the sainika or look for research projects by other companies who are posting on the sainika and of course we have 50 plus the sainika certifications which you can utilize now once you've done all all of this then you can create a one page cv which is all the action verbs and which is the quantifiable quantity of the work which you have done quantifiable achievement so don't mention that you worked in a project mention how many hours you worked and what was the outcome right and always use bullet points and comparison tables or some kind of you know metric which helps them identify for example you say that on a scale of 10 you are 8 in lcm so mention that right on a scale of 10 so you can show that by some graphic right and then you have to use bullet points you have to write concise crisp because remember it is a one page resume so you have to use concise and crisp sentences for example synthesize and characterize organic compounds using nmr and ir spectroscopy so when you mention like this so it's a actionable action verb and that that will attract the recruiters that will attract the scientists that okay you have done something it's not that you are just coming plain as a fresher with only theoretical knowledge so that's the step number 3 Now step number 4 will be start with your professors. One mistake I did was I always underestimated my colleagues or my classmates. I thought that I am smarter than them, but today when I look back, it was the biggest mistake I made because when after 20 years in the industry I realized that they are also at high positions in the in the industry and even I am, but if we network, if we had network then we would have been even better position. So ask your professors if they can introduce you to industry contacts, ask your uh, seniors 
connect with the alumni who is working in those uh, industries, uh, chemical industry, pharma industry, FMCG companies, food tech companies, biotech companies. And it is just a simple LinkedIn message, right? So you have to connect with them and mention that I'm currently pursuing MSc chemistry uh, or uh, BSc chemistry. I am exploring internship opportunity in uh, XYZ um, chemistry. Would I would love your advice. Can you please uh, share some wisdom? Because I know you have already done this kind of job and uh, you know if you support your junior uh, I can support you back maybe in the future so when you mention like this they will come back so it's not necessary to know their phone numbers you can just go to LinkedIn and reach out to people they will guide you right so the ratio will be like if you approach 100 people 10 will reply that's okay but if, even if 10 reply you get you got 10 expert opinions now customize so don't just uh, rely on my advice and rely on uh, practical advices from the people who are working in those companies right so that's step number four now we'll come to the step number five which is apply where others don't now imagine where others are applying they are all applying in big pharmaceutical companies right that is where they are struggling you are a fresher, so you have to apply in some company which is also started fresh, and that is a startup, right? So, apply in a startup which is working in analytical testing, CRO, or chemical R&D, uh, maybe environmental labs, quality control labs, forensic labs, and uh, you can utilize uh, platforms like Biotechnica, Rasayanika, Internshala. But Internshala, you won't find many industry-specific roles. It will be generic roles. But on Rasayanika and Biotechnica, you will definitely find chemistry-specific roles, QA, QC roles. Fresher jobs are more posted here, so you can definitely get a internship from there. Now, next part will be not just the credentials. Okay, so. Uh, this is probably the sixth point I'm giving you. Show curiosity, right? So when you approach a scientist on LinkedIn, show curiosity about their work or when they have posted something, show curiosity in the comment section. Talk about the experiments you enjoyed also on LinkedIn and ask uh, the right questions during your interviews or during your internship interviews and uh, show the enthusiasm that you are really excited to work with them during the interviews. So if you do that, your chances of getting selected is very, very high. So you can always ask questions like, how does a typical day look like for interns here? Um, so now this kind of question shows interest it shows initiative and it shows that okay you are really interested in working in this domain so as a chemistry intern it's not just about getting the internship because that's the first step after that you have to match your lab skills your curiosity your reputation building and initiative taking and combine all of that to become the favorite in the organization and once you have become that you and your internship is definitely going to get converted into a permanent job. And that's the key, guys. You know, as a fresher, everybody struggles. But you get in through the internship route and get confirmed as a uh, in the job. That's the best thing which can happen to you, right? So now you no longer struggle, need to struggle. And now after one or two years, you'll have experience, right? So if you need any kind of help with internship, drop a message below or you can DM me also. Check out our chemistry internship section on Rasainika and Biotechnica. And remember that this is just the beginning. Internship is the beginning. So you have to really be quick so after this video don't just close and go away make sure your linkedin is done properly make sure that you're subscribed to rasainika's youtube channel and rasainika's newsletter which you'll get every day free of cost in the evening time and make sure that you are watching all our videos because all things chemistry all things pharma all things biotech is happening right here so what are you waiting for go ahead subscribe and i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye